الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وآله الطاهرين الحمد لله I've been able to cover some quick points even though it's very obvious that I have been hastening in uh, bringing about as many points as possible and I'm doing this pretty much freelance I don't I do have some quick pointers that I've written down and uh, in all of these sessions I've only had these couple of uh, pages so I don't have like I don't have like some script that I'm working on so it's whatever I remember whatever uh, I have uh, come across uh, things that I believe uh, would contribute to the uh, positive uh, attendance of a Hausa student in their uh, applying into the Hausa Almiya in um, continuing with their Islamic studies and also being successful not only within the Hausa but also inshallah when uh, we go back to our uh, communities and try to make a change in uh, ourselves and those who are around us. I think one of the biggest issues that I uh, come across regularly is students who are very enthusiastic come here and say you know I'm here because I'm sick and tired of the community that I live in and I see a lot of corruption and a lot of uh, politics and that and I want to make changes in all of those things. Th this kind of person, they won't last, they won't survive. I, uh, I think the reason being is because the approach that we need to have is let me work on myself, let me see what I'm able to do, let me see what, how I am able to make changes in my behavior, in my life. You know, I want to break that routine. I want to remold my identity and my personality. Trust me when I say this, my dear brothers and sisters, that there are some of us who enter into the Hausa innocent and nice and good and positive and leave corrupt and bad. Some, some. There are some who come in and leave exactly the same way as they came. You know, there are some who come in one way and leave in the most positive of ways and you know we still need to have that level of hope and 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 anticipate that we that i change me zayd as salami also changes to the better all the time and i'm always saying to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rabbi zidni ilman wa amalan as well you know and so you know there are people who you know feel guilt you know when you say to them why don't you have any level of respect or honor or this or that or this or that? You know, why don't you make changes in your behavior? You know, what's wrong with you and why are you doing this? And they say, well, yeah, I'm trying. I'm still trying. Well, it's been a long time and it makes no sense for you to continue to try. I've repeatedly said that one of the best effective ways of us Hausa students learning uh, things and making those drastic changes that need to be made is by reading the biographies of our ulama and by gaining a close relationship with a well-reputed mainstream ustad and teacher. Now, coming down to the practicality of ad admission or entering into the Hausa, you've probably decided whether you want to go to al Najaf al-Ashraf, whether you want to go to Qum al-Muqaddasa, whether you want to go to any of the other, uh, if, we, if I could say, well-established houses in Syria, in Lebanon, in Pakistan, in India, wherever it may be, these countries. You know, of course, none of, no other Hausa would be the same as a Hausa Almiya of Qum and Najaf. This is, of course, you know, not only my opinion, but the opinion of many, many who are around me. But uh, that being said, it's, it doesn't mean that you're not able to find these other houses and benefit from them as well. Um, but in the level of admission, you know, you need to make sure that you meet the requirements of being admitted into the Hausa into the particular madrasa that you want to go to. You know, um, with Al Najaf al Ashraf, there is a certain process. With Qum al Muqaddasa, there is a certain process. I did mention that the body that um, is in charge of non Iranian students in Qum al Muqaddasa 
is Al Mustafa International University. So, should you wish to uh, apply for Hausa studies in Qom, you will need to do this through Al Mustafa International University, and you need to you'll need to meet the requirements. You are able to read them on the website that they have. Then you go when you come to Qom, you are going to first of all study uh, Persian for about eight to nine months. Then after that, you are going to be doing some preliminary studies. Then you're going to enter into muqaddimat. Then after muqaddimat, sutuh. Then after sutuh, kharij. That itself will take roughly, roughly between eight to ten to twelve years of continuous studying, of course. Now you might have some privileges where you might be able to leave um, every couple of years to visit your family. You know, some people do it every year. I don't encourage that, especially for the first couple of years. You want to stay here for a solid, good, solid amount and uh, get somewhere at least in that particular time that you are in. You also want to make sure that you have made those drastic changes in your behavior. The longer you stay in Qom, the more you will benefit from the environment here in Qom and more, the more it's going to have an impact on uh, your behavior and uh, your personality as well. Also, when you are going to be um, in Jamaat Al Mustafa or Al, in Al Mustafa International University, it could be the Muqaddimat Sutuh Kharij kind of process, it could be the Bachelor's, Master's, PhD uh, pr process. Um, whichever curriculum they may be, it all comes down to you as the individual, you know, how much effort you are going to be, 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 be putting. As I mentioned before, there's no one is going to be standing over you. You could be someone who procrastinates so much, someone who is lazy so much. Believe me, I know some people who have spent five years and six years and seven years in Hausa, when they got absolutely nowhere. Literally, absolutely nowhere, you know, but they have a name for themselves. They're probably good with public speaking, maybe, you know, but they didn't, they don't have any substance in, you know, getting somewhere really genuine in their Hausa studies on an Ilmi side as well. And so it's very important for one to be able to gather between all of these things. Now, with Al Mustafa University, um, we need to remember that uh, there might be some obstacles, some issues that you are going to be facing. You might see that the, the wages that you're given is not enough to last you three days. You might feel that the madrasa that you were put into or that you chose um, isn't really in the standards that you want. You might have a problem with the administration. You might have an issue with one of the teachers. There are a million and one things that you are going to be facing. But always remember that you are here for a greater cause. You're here on a quick mission. Do your studies, go back. Don't get involved with the politics. Don't think that you are able to you know, um, make some kind of revolution, reform revolution in the Hausa here in the short period of time that you are in. You know, try to minimize also, I believe, I think this is very important in my opinion, minimize, I would say cut off, you know, but that might be a bit too extreme for some people. Minimize as much as you can, as you, as you can your social uh, presence in uh, uh, social media. Minimize your presence in social media. Don't occupy yourself with all of these other things. Don't allow yourself to be sidetracked, you know. So there are going to be financial issues. There are going to be administrative issues. There are going to be ilmi issues and struggles that you have. Whatever the case may be, there will be people who are there available to guide you, to assist you.
It's a one-man show, by the way. You're always going to be by yourself. You're always going to be by yourself. It's you and what you are able to get to. But at the same time, there's always going to be people who will extend a hand of help, who will assist you. And this is very important as well for us to keep in mind. Now, the, when I did mention privileges, you know, and being in a madrasa and selecting a madrasa, you, you have madrasas that are uh, per Persian in language, Arabic in language, and um, variety of different options that you also have there available for you. Whatever the case may be, if you find someone who you will be able to um, ask for help with, I'm very sure they will be able to assist you. Your goal is to learn ulum Ahlul Bayt alayhimussalam. Your goal is to follow in the footsteps of propagating the way that the Anbiya alayhimussalam propagated the religion. And therefore you have a very, very big responsibility on your shoulders. You are becoming the soldier of Sahibul Asri wa Zaman Ajalallah Ta'ala Farajuhu Sharif. And therefore, you have many, many responsibilities and you are, are accountable for many things. And therefore, don't take this duty lightly. But of course, there are many, many satisfactions as well. You know, the whole fact that you are going to be elevated. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to elevate you because of the, that level of knowledge that you have. Those who don't know and those who know, are they the same? Of course not. And so it's very important for us to uh, keep ourselves motivated to pursue knowledge and to continue in the path of talabul ilm and seeking uh, knowledge. What are the alternatives that one has if they're not able to join the Hawza? I did mention that if you are adamant and you are serious in joining Hawza, don't wait. Don't say, well, in three years when I do this and when I finish that. No. Join the Hawza straight away. What are the alternatives for Al Hawza Al Ilmiya? The alternatives are that you find some kind of uh, well-functioned, well-planned, well-organized Hawza uh, establishment outside of the main uh, Hawza establishments. Like for example, there's the Hawza Ilmiya in London, you know, or there is the e Hawza of His Eminence Sheikh Dr. Mansour Laqai um, that is affiliated to Imam Hussein Islamic Center in Sydney, Australia. Or you might have some other Hausa programs here and there in your local center. Um, even though it might be one lesson a week or two lessons a week, but it's, it's something at least that you are able to continue on uh, doing. Or you might have uh, something that you are able to join online which is wonderful alhamdulillah there are many things that you're able to do online even with youtube there are things that you are but again you need discipline you need to stay committed to it as well and also you need some kind of schedule and pro program and plan that you has been laid out for you that you are able to follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will indeed inspire you. He will indeed give you that motivation, that power, that strength that you need to pursue uh, this knowledge. And we always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the tawfiq of gaining knowledge, qurbatan illallah ta'ala, to be sincere in the knowledge uh, that we are uh, learning and also to make sure that we have that amal that uh, adjoins itself with Al-ilm, all for the sake of hastening and preparing the hastening of the reappearance of our awaited Imam, our Saviour, Imam Al-Mahdi, Al-Hujjat ibn Al-Hasan, Ajallallah Ta'ala, Faruj al-Sharif.
hopefully, hopefully, by what we are doing, we are contributing to one little step forward in the positivity of bringing about happiness in this world and uh, prosperity for people so we are able to correctly coexist with each other and inshallah hopefully be able to rid this world of all of the difficulties and the troubles and the challenges that all of us are facing inshallah all of you have who have um, joined me from the beginning of these sessions until now have benefited one way or another from um, if not all of what I've said some of what I've said inshallah if I have made a mistake in my um, presentation or in something that I've said or if I've upset you in some of the information that I've shared it is in no way uh, intentional please uh, share with me uh, some of your feedback that you may have some uh, suggestions for any other further programs inshallah and keep me in your dua walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidina muhammad wa alihi tahirin